enchantment on a social unit whose glue is a mythic great love, but whose value to society is at least as economic as it is beneficently human. Couples produce the need for more goods as they furnish their homes and build the American dream. Don't worry, nothing super exciting is happening. <laughs> uh, really? I thought there was. Yeah. <laughs> you would. Just standing up and getting some water. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good thing. It's exciting to me. I could have accompanied you with music to that one, but I didn't let me know. Single and married describe relationship less than they do social status. How and where people fit into society in ways to categorize them, such as a single person must be lonely, or maybe she's enviably independent. A married person must feel secure, stable, and loved. The terms single and married do not take into account that everyone exists in relationship with other people, whether they're or not they're sharing a physical dwelling. The dreaminess of coupledom interferes with the first great love, which is the person in erotic connection with herself, casting on it a pall of narcissism and selfishness. In her erotic magnitude, a glamour girl disproves self-love as vanity. A woman makes paper sandals and covers them with kisses and a lipstick close to the color of her mouth. She sends the sandals to her lover. True love feels this way. We walk together down a mountain. We take off our shoes to touch the ground barefoot. Key in the door, unlocking home, we boil water, fry eggs, drink tea, and share a few words. A jaguar appears on the patio and asks for meat, milk, and honey. Not a pound of flesh, not skim, not NutraSweet. Only the real thing, which is all we have to give. Time to repeat after me again. Only the real thing. Which is all we have to give. Which is all we have to give. That could bear more emphasis, but I'm not going to make you do it. Maybe you'll remember it, which is more important than repeating it. Everyday life. The trivial is not prosaic. The prosaic is not trivial. In prosaic life, the poetry of people's daily pleasures flowers. A glamour girl lives in a neighborhood of trash and palaces. She slows down when she is moving too fast for her own good. When a master sees a vamp in her red lipstick, she loves her dearly, a sister. When a master sees a limping woman with a cane walking every day in the neighborhood, she salutes her. A sister. When a master sees a man with a spine of steel, she blesses him, a brother. When a master sees a man as soft as she is, she falls in love.